In today's episode of Hardcore Minecraft, we are going to be building a modern aquarium home. This is going to be tough and fun. So before we get into the video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video when you guys might know because this is going to take a while. I got an idea on how to do this. So let's go ahead and get right into it building this base thingy so today's idea came from noble gaming studios and lexington joseph so there we go thank you for commenting down below and let's go build that structure i already got a place all set up for it and i think it's gonna be really cool don't ask about all the fire around here um something totally did not happen here yeah you'd have to be there for the stream to know what exactly what happened so we got the materials here already ready for us i got i gathered everything and yeah, forgot my water bucket back at the base. <laughs> so let's go over the basic outline. So this is the area and we want to overlook the water. So here's the idea for the base. You walk in through here in between two massive fish tanks into your modern home so this is basically the foundation of the house and then we're gonna have a porch right here so far it looks pretty decent okay so this is basically how the outlines can go uh, not with the, not where that block just accidentally fell so this is basically where it's gonna go basic back porch nice and modern looking and then in here it's gonna be stone and then we gotta go up with the pillars and it gets all ready i love building things because it's so fun also you can just jump around and you can experiment with different designs each time until you find the design you're looking for plus it has this house is gonna have that modern flair to it that they like to call but i just have i just like i just call it the modern it's just modern it's not a modern flair it's just modern so this is what it looks like very simple design and you may be asking to yourself dallas why are you using why aren't you actually using concrete well i'll pour water on it and then we'll see how it looks so basically i'm gonna hollow all this stuff out right now so this should be very very fun so i'm going for this kind of modern color design as you can see with the floor i think this sandstone floor will go well with the gray walls and the whole theme of modern i think it just ties in perfect then we're just gonna put our bed right here because it's turning night soon so yeah we're gonna put our stuff in here for the fish i got glowstone and smooth light for these two areas right here i don't think they can hurt fish so don't quote me on that i don't think they hurt fish so there's a possibility they don't hurt fish but there's also a possibility they do hurt fish so gamble we're gonna take so here's the basic look so far it looks really clean and really nice so far i'm liking it let me know down below in the comments if you're liking this kind of style that I'm going for. Because I've never, I've not seen any styles like this on the internet before. So I like it. This is the first time I've cut down a birch tree. I'm on day 216 and I just cut down a birch tree. Now that is amazing right there. Help, I got my horse on the roof somehow. Now I think it's a good time to turn this sand into actual concrete. As you can see, it just perfectly turns it all into concrete, which is amazing. You just do this and boom, everything just turns into concrete. So here's what it looks like without the sand. It's now actual concrete blocks. I know it looks really good. All right, so my computer ran out of space to record, so uh, yeah, I'm starting from here now. I uh, got the room, got the roof basically outlined, got the patio done, and I've learned that you can do this. You can actually do this and get your uh, get your actual your materials really quickly. I didn't know you could do that. Okay, so we got the patio built. Um, it's a bit of a walk down to the beach, but here it is. I do have to clean up on the edges so it doesn't look like a random box. But there it is, and the roof. I think I'm gonna do like these parts covered with the gray, and then do the others with the white like that. Now I'm just gonna do full gray. Okay, so here we go. We walk into here, and then we got a little bit of some sun areas and not sun areas, if that makes sense. So basically, that's how the roof is. Now we gotta do put some doors in. So there we go. We got our birch doors in. Only reason I'm putting doors in this house is because there's mobs in Minecraft, and you can't have a building without doors on because mobs can get in. There we go. Put a little nice table in here to eat. Should put some other furnishing pieces in here, but I don't really got anything else. 
All right, so now that we got the inside of the house pretty much done, I put a couch out here. The oak actually goes really nice with this color, this color theme. So now I'm gonna go and capture some fishes for the cage because this area in here is all gonna be filled with water. So here we go. I have somehow got myself trapped in here. Aha, got one. Man, these things are easy to catch. Ooh, some different ones. They're easy to catch, but it's very dangerous to catch them. All right, I filled all my buckets up. Okay, I'll put these guys in here. Oh, look, these two want to come and visit also. Okay, I got two more. That's an interesting one. Oh, this one actually tried to not get caught. Whoa, what are those ones? Don't have any of these guys yet. I caught them. I just nearly jumped off the edge just to just go cannonball on it, but I guess there's no edge. Whoa, there's two. Whoa, look at these two. Those two are cool. I think these are the two final ones I'm gonna grab. They look really cool. All right, so I ran to the other side of the island, got some coral. I should have used my elytra, but hey, a parrot. That's a gun. But I should have used my elytra, but it's gonna break soon. So I figured, not don't use it. It's not worth it. So I ran to the outside of the island, got the stuff, and now it's time to finish up their cage. It looks so cool coming in where they are. I'm inside the wall again. All right, I'll put this one here and this one here. I just grabbed whatever ones I liked looking at. I'm gonna put the glass over top now. There we go. I saw a couple fish swimming around in these things, so I figured that's what they liked. There we go. Now time to cover up their cage, too. They seem to like it in there. They're all swimming around inside of it. I don't know, I don't know what those fish are doing. But yeah, here's the modern fish tank house. It's practically a rectangle, but it's a good-looking rectangle. So, let's give you the grand tour. So you walk through this entrance, and you got fish to your left and fish to your right. And you got inside your house where your bed is. Of course, you're going to sleep right next to the fish cage and let the fish keep you up all night because that's how they typically work table over here to sit down crafting table chest and i'll put furnaces someplace then you come out back on your patio and just sit back look at the ocean so that's basically what people do when they own beach houses then you got a beach you kind of hear playing it or swimming it whatever they call it so hope you guys enjoyed this video share and subscribe if you guys want more content just like this and i hope to see you guys in the next hardcore episode see ya